go home. We just have that bark to unload still because it was pretty late in the day when we picked it up. Today we're gonna unload that bark so that Dan can take his truck to work tomorrow without having a bunch of bark in the back of it. So yeah, hang out, relax, unload bark, and then probably just have a nice dinner and then watch the season finale of Game of Thrones, series, series finale of Game of Thrones. So I'm not looking forward to that because I'm not happy with the last episode that was on with it. Um, it's finally over. <laughs> done in the toy section and Dan found this chair it's $35 for a leather chair like what we've been kind of looking for a swivel chair or a rocking chair it's also a recliner look at Rory this chair is so big the one next to it so huge. We went to go tell them we want to buy this chair. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna buy this chair. 
The main thing is, is that with our living room, we want it to be comfortable. We want it to be as comfortable as humanly possible because it's where we take our leisure time. It's where we relax. I've rocked both of my kids in the rocking chair that we have. That wooden one's honestly just not that comfortable. We're using it because it's a nice rocking chair and it's what we have. But we would rather have a recliner like this than um, what we are currently using. We've been looking at new recliners. They're minimum $300, three to 500 for something like this. For 35 bucks, I'll take it. <laughs> Well, Dan found it first. He loves finding good deals on furniture. back from town I got a new shirt when I was at Old Navy because I got my leggings there but um, I saw this shirt and I thought it was really cute love the color I like the way it looks with my skin tone too we got some other stuff too but maybe I'll show you guys later but right now I need to take care of all this bark so I'm filling in a lot of my flower beds with bark. It's just mulch to, it's to protect the root systems, ultimately. So you're protecting from heat, water loss, and um, you're protecting from diseases and insects. You at least want to do it once a year. I'm doing it right now because we're having an event here. We're having Luna's birthday party here in a couple of weeks. And I want the garden to look as good as it can. But you either want to do it like in the springtime or in the fall time. Fall time is a good time because the roots will get cold in the winter time and you want to protect them from freezing. So fall is a good time to do uh, mulch but really any time of year um, is fine. I still have mulch here but the layer has worn down. Like it it gets worn down over time. So you know it starts to break down and mix in with the soil which is good for your soil. But we just want to give a refresh to all of that. Look at all of that bark. So my camera battery died. It's a few hours later. We got all of the bark put away. We're going to need to get more. Hurry. We're, we're going to need to get another load of bark. I think we just need one more load of bark and then we'll be good because we still have that one flower bed that I am. I still need soil for that before I can get bark. Um, so that needs bark after we get soil and then the far garden way out there if you can see it it's got we have hot plants and different plants out there um, that needs more bark if you can see the dark soil that's where the bark is and then the rest of it still needs bark most of the garden got covered and it looks fantastic I'm really happy with how it turned out well we bought that chair that I showed you guys in Goodwill and Dan needed his truck to bring it back obviously so he went and picked it up while I stayed here and uh, cleaned. So I'm going to show you, just need to get the light on, wait, there we go, there it is, it's so beautiful, it matches our couch which is amazing. So I guess now we just need a love seat, a nice love seat. Um, but I actually don't really like this couch that much because it's not very comfortable. It's it's hard to sit on. But um, this guy is comfortable, very comfortable, and it reclines. Well, I already said that before, but it's an awesome chair. Really good deal on that. Now Rory's making another mess. I just cleaned his room. She's like, why don't I make another mess? So we got a Star Lord today at Goodwill. Good job, Rory. Let's check Spider-Man. We also got this little teapot for Luna. We're going to give it to her for her birthday. 
I love it so much. It's cute. We think she's gonna like it. I got her this little book. Paperback Princess. I read it to them when we were in the store. I thought it was really perfect for her because um, it's a good story for a little girl. So, got her that. I got Bambi today. Really excited about that. And this cute book, Happy Birthday to You by Dr. Seuss. I, we don't have this one yet. We have a lot of the Dr. Seuss books, but I um, thought that was, it's really good shape too. Did you see this hat when you were in the bedroom? Yeah. It's like it's never been read even. Okay, so the last stuff I'm going to haul for you is just some clothing items that we picked up today. Just really quick. I'm going to show you. I have them all laid out here, so it should go fast. Um, I got stuff at Goodwill. I never look at clothes at Goodwill because the kids just make it really hard. So I actually took time today because we were doing a leisurely day. So we weren't in a rush for anything. So we just took our time, and I actually found some really good clothes. Then we went to Old Navy because I needed my pants. So I got those, and then we found a few other things on the clearance rack. So... I'm going to show you really quick what I got. So first off, I got this really pretty skirt for Luna. It's the genuine Oshkosh skirt for, uh, for her 12 month size. And I just love it. It's so ruffly. It's so pretty. All of the clothes I got at Goodwill were $3 or under. So I got this shirt. It's a lightweight, just t-shirt. Be good for summertime. I love lions. So I was very drawn to this shirt. This is actually an Old Navy shirt, but they had it at Goodwill, and it's just one of the Luke's shirts. I love these so much. They're so soft. So um, I picked this up, and I got this tank top. I love everything shiny right now. I'm just, I love it. So um, I actually had three tank tops, and Dan picked this one out of the three. So uh, yeah. I like it a lot. It'll be good for summer. And then I got this one actually to wear to a concert that I'm going to in a couple of weeks. Um, I just thought it was really like, I don't know. It just gave me Amanda Palmer vibes. That's the artist I'm seeing. So I went for it. I just, I love the colors. So yeah, I'm going to wear this to that concert. Dan wanted me to get this one. I thought it was cute. It's just a gray t-shirt with a uh, bling on it, little sequins, really cute. Lastly at Goodwill I picked up, I guess it's like a shawl, and it's actually one of those world market shawls, so that was a really good find because these are not cheap, and it's super thin and lightweight, like I love it. I love the print too. So I got those at Goodwill, and then Old Navy, oh there's just this random... I got my two leggings at Old Navy, just basic black leggings. And then Dan picked out this jacket. It's just a green, like a sweatshirt jacket with a collar on it. He loves these. So picked that up. And then I found this really nice jacket too. This was $4 on the clearance rack. I love finding good deals and I love this purple. It's so pretty. So I'm going to wear this in the fall. And then I got two things for Luna off the clearance rack. This really soft cardigan. It's so soft. It's just a button up thin cardigan. And then these really, really soft, it's the same material, pink pants. Um, I already, I've used these for her. This is the third pair I've bought. So she had 0 to 3, 6 to 12, and now she has the uh, 18 to 24. So I really love these pants. Dan picked up a pair of work pants. That's just about everything we got. There's maybe a few other things here and there, but that's the gist of it. That's what we still had to take out of the bag. So now I have a ton of laundry to do. I'm going to start doing that, but... I got this bell. Yeah, Dan got a bike bell. What did you get it for? For my bike. Oh, okay. I don't know if you saw in the vlog before, but I got Luna this mini car to play with. It's just for her, because she's learning how to walk. That's why I bought it. And she loves Minnie Mouse, so I thought, like, win-win, right? Well, Rory keeps playing with it and stealing it from her and knocking her off of it, so I decided today, after enough of the tantrums of the car, to get Rory one. I told him I'd take him to Google today and see if we could find one, and we actually did. We found a Finding Nemo one. So... This is the one we bought. Actually, it's Finding Dory. Yeah, I, 
thought it was so cute. It's like perfect for him. Mom? He loves octopuses. And, you Mom. know, fighting Dory, you can't go wrong. And it has all these keys. Little shifter. Oh, it was Nemo. That's cool. So yeah, now my kids won't be fighting over the cars because they each have their own. There you go.